Hey guys, I'm Joe, and today we're looking at how to make a simple wobble bass sound. This is a similar sound to what's used in drum and bass, but a really simple version just to get you started. We'll be using the ES2 again for this, so we'll load up the factory default, turn all of these off so it looks just like this. We'll be using square waves for this bass, so I'll go over to all the oscillators and select square waves, like so. Turn all the sense onto zero. Go up here, hit filter reset, we'll leave that on free, click unison and select 16 voices. If you then go over here to cut off and drop that to about 0.3. And to get the wall sound, we need to use the LFO, which stands for Low Frequency Oscillator for all, for, for all of those who don't know. So we'll go over here, select the target as cut off 1 and 2, leave those two as they are, turn the slider up to about 0.5 which will then make the sound wobble, like so. This fader here controls the rate of it, so you can either use the bottom half, which goes perfectly in time with it, or the top half, which is a bit more free, so it's at the frequency. So the, the higher it is, the faster it will be, and the lower it is, the lower, slower it will be. But I tend to prefer to use this, so everything's perfectly in time. So if you hear me play a note like this, and I'll change the fader, you can hear it change. Like that. Now, as the LFO rate will typically change in a song, you can either automate the change, like so, by going into automation, selecting the ES2, going into LFOs, LFO2 rate, and then you can automate each individual change. Or you can make duplicates of the track and just change the LFO rate on each and change in between each track, going back and forth, playing different notes. So one track rate can be an eighth, another can be a quarter, dotted eighth, so on, so on, and so on. I personally find this easier than automating it every time the rate changes. As always, it's just down to preference for the final sound. So you can play around with the ADSR envelope over here, the cutoff filter over here as well, or even use different sound ways to create a unique sound for you. I personally find this is a nice and easy wall based sound to use just to get you started when writing drum and bass. It still sounds gritty, but still also quite smooth. I hope this video has been useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or message me here or via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.